In this section, we want to take a, take a look at real-world scenarios that we can model using linear functions. The first example that we'll take a look at is modeling population growth. In example one, we're told that a town's population has been decreasing at a constant rate. That language about a constant rate is the language that keys us into the fact that this is a linear scenario. In 2019, the population was 5,238. By 2023, the population had dropped to 2,753. Assume this trend continues, which means we're gonna be able to construct a linear model and use that to predict a future value. In order to create this model, we'll switch to Wolfram Alpha and we'll set up a line through our X and Y pairs. X in each case is the year, so 2019, and then Y is the population size. So we're given 2019, 5,238, and the year 2023, the population was 2,753. Creating a line through those two points gives us a linear model, which we can convert to approximate or decimal form, and we get this line in slope-intercept form. The actual output that we get uh, is a y equals a linear equation statement, so we're going to change this to p of x for our function notation. Negative 621.25t plus our y-intercept is given to us as 1.25954 times 10 to the sixth. That's a number written in scientific notation, so what we need to do is take our decimal place and move it to the right one, two, three, four, five, six places. So we'll insert a zero there, meaning our linear model is actually negative 621.25t plus 1,259,540. Next, we want to predict the population of the town in the year 2027. That means we want to evaluate our function p at t equals 2027. Let me actually go back, I made a mistake up here. Since our independent variable is t, those should each be statements P of T. Flipping back to Wolfram Alpha, we can evaluate our model by substituting in the year 2027 for T. and we get a value of 266.25. Sorry, just make sure I wrote that down right. 266.25, I thought I made a mistake there. Since we're talking about people, we can't have a decimal, so we'll round this to a population of approximately 266 people. In part C, we want to predict the year in which the town's population will hit zero. That means we want to find when will P of T be equal to zero. To do that, we'll solve our model set equal to zero, and we get an approximate form 2027.4. We're told to round up to the near nearest year, so in the year, approximately in the year 2028, based off this model, this town will hit a population of zero. So we constructed the model by creating the line through those two points. We predicted a future value 
or depending on when you're watching this video in the future, a not so future value. And then we solved that model set equal to zero to determine when the town's population would hit a specific value. In this case, that value is zero.